So apparently this has been happening a lot. <laughs> That's sad. I feel sad for her. I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry, man. Oh, no. Bro, left a fake wallet. Dude, left a f This lady went on a date with a gentleman. And at the end of the date, the gentleman went to the bathroom, left his wallet on the table just to give her reassurance. And then after 30 minutes, she finally opened the wallet and looked in the wallet and there was only a Dave and Buster card <laughs> and they were closing already. So somebody had to pay the bill. She must have obviously had no money because if she did, she would have paid it 20 minutes ago and gone home. But <laughs> that is a classic. That is that is a diabolical move. I've Not that I've ever done that or would do that, but I would have never thought of leaving a fake wallet. Think about that, a fake wallet with a Dave and Buster game card. Whoever this guy is, he's a master. He knows exactly what he's doing. This is not the first time he's done this before. Very sad. I'm sorry, ma'am. If I was there, I would have just laughed because that's hilarious. Like and follow for more. This is filthy work, man. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> YouTube is your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Not to waste many more time. Let's get back to the clips. If you thought dating was only rough for women, get this. So my best guy friend went on a bunch of dates with this girl, like maybe four or five dates, like really cute dates. He planned them. They were very elaborate. And then for their whatever fifth date, she said, let me plan it. So it was really cute. She was going to do like dinner and laser tag. It sounded really fun. But then just as he's heading out the door for the date, he gets a text being like, wait, don't come. My mom's in the hospital. I've got to go there. So he obviously was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, take your time. Um, let me know if there's anything you can do. He sent flowers to her house. So then a couple of days later, he gets a photo from her of the flowers. And she said, oh, my roommate just said these arrived. They're beautiful. Like, thank you so much. That's super kind of you. He responded being like, yeah, no problem. I hope everything's well. Like, let me know if you're down to meet up at some point. Obviously, no rush. Um, yeah, hope things are good. Doesn't respond. So then he waits a couple more days and he was, they were talking like every day. So he was like, Hey, just want to check in. Like, I hope everything's going okay. I'm really sorry to hear about your mom, like thinking of you kind of thing. And then didn't hear from her again. So a couple of days later, uh, we checked her Instagram. So she doesn't, she wasn't posting anything on Instagram, but she does have her Visco cam link in her Instagram bio. She was at Coachella the entire time. Like maybe there's a world where something happened and then she went to Coachella, but like the timing isn't right. Like she literally was at Coachella the entire time, which like we obviously will never know the extent of how far that lie went. But imagine if she was fully lying, how bad she must have felt when those flowers arrived at her door. Like, oh, so bad. So I guess it's rough on both sides. Yeah, and these are the kind of stories that women don't leak out and tell you because it defeats their narrative. Oh, men don't plan elaborate dates and men aren't intentional in dating. And here you have a man who is clearly, clearly intentional. And the moment that woman said, oh, I'll plan a date. And then she follow up with, the whole oh my mom's in the hospital story now there may have been some truth to that because she showed a picture of the flowers however just because she showed a picture of that flowers doesn't necessarily mean she was where she was supposed to be at but then again they showed up at her door so i would say between some i would say between some time after getting the flowers is when she was probably at this coachella the whole entire time because he kept trying to follow up afterwards but bruh, that is tough. This is exactly why men are checking out on dating. And y'all remember I did that video not too long of the woman that was saying men need to quit taking men, women out on dates because some of these women don't have real intention like you saw here. Let's keep it moving. Because I, you seen I had a Lamborghini? Something like that. So what do you think you're getting out of this? Like, what, do you, what do you mean something like that? I mean, I don't know. If we start talking, we can see what happens. Now, I'm just trying to figure out like what you... I mean, I'm a pretty girl. I can't hear you, bro. Uh, you... I said, I'm a pretty girl. We could go shopping or something. You know, we could hang out. You obviously can afford it. Okay. What does that mean? I mean, 
Miami, you're in Miami. What do you expect? Bruh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I gotta keep making these videos shorter when I'm pulling off. I know it don't be long, but like, I gotta just keep pulling off, bro, when they talk about money. Cause why are we, Why am I wasting my time when you've already told me what you're, she's talking about, oh, uh, maybe you could take me shopping. I, I know you got it. You in Miami. Like, like, what does that even mean? Like somebody from Miami, comment down below. Anybody that's from Miami, Florida, or any part of Florida, is this just something that dudes do? Like, when they see a pretty woman, do they just instantly want to spend their money? Like, let me know, because I'm confused at this point, and I'm tired of it, bro. Yeah, we all tired of it, man. But from what people say about Miami, um, it really doesn't surprise me. I'm like, why do you think so many women do girls trips and shit down there? Because they go down there to hook up, to hook up with these guys and then come back home you know, kind of live a luxurious lifestyle for a hot, quick second, you know, get a taste of that lifestyle, and then they go back home. I'm telling you, bro, like, a lot of these chicks, they just out here begging, and they broke for real, and they looking for somebody to sponsor their lifestyle, man. I'm like, bro, I'm like, Shorty was cute, but it's like, come on now. And I mean... <sighs> That's tough, bro. I'm like, bro, if you dating in Miami, I feel sorry for you. Let's keep it moving. Well, I was just Yeah. You have the app? You have the app? Nah, she's so broke. She said you got the McDonald's app. <laughs> Yo, she's trying to <laughs> Bro, she's trying to use her reward points or go to the deal section. Ah, uh, nah, man. I've never seen a girl this broke in my life. She's so broke, man. She makes the brokest bitch look rich. <laughs> soft guy error this, soft guy error that. Did you hear what she said? She said, oh, you don't have $20 to pay for us? Yeah, we could just eat at the crib. I'm not trying to spend my money. I'm not trying to spend my money. I'm not trying to spend my money. So she's down to spend yours and keep her money for herself. Being a provider is a scam. Babe, you don't even have $20, bitch. Do you have $20? You don't have $20. Now all of a sudden, you just became Rachel Ray. Now all of a sudden, you, you know how to cook. Fuck you. I'm just convinced that a lot of y'all are just dating and sleeping with broke bums. A lot of these women are poor, but they're using you to look rich. Hold on, let me say that one more time. A lot of these women are poor, but they're using you to look rich. You guys went to the Marriott. The first set of complimentary towels, she took them. She put them in a duffel bag. The girl never played a sport in her life. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that big ass duffel bag? She's so broke, it gets worse. The saga continues. She calls the front desk. She says, hey, I just wanted to let you guys know that we don't have any towels. I don't really know why. Maybe the cleaning lady like took them by mistake. But uh, if you guys can provide us with some more towels, that would be great. And she stuffs those new towels that the staff gave her in her fat ass Nike duffel bag. And you asked her, where did you get that Nike duffel bag from? She said, no, nah, this is my uh, Mrs. Make It Happen bag. <laughs> One towel can't fit in the bag, so she puts it in the big ass stuff. But <laughs> you got her. <laughs> I'm in my soft guy era. That type of brokenness would have given me an allergic reaction. So I came across this on Instagram. It says, women who are married, did you do wife things as a girlfriend? Yes, absolutely 100% yes. It is unrealistic to expect somebody to marry you without them knowing what type of spouse they're going to get. I don't care what these other women been telling y'all, what they be saying is some bullshit. Let's just be honest, if you are actually a person who is capable of being a good wife, doing those wifely things, that's going to come naturally to you. But never could I have ever expected my husband to marry me if I never showed him the qualities that I have 
to be a good wife. Just like I never would have even accepted his proposal if he hadn't already shown me the qualities that he has to be a good husband. So yes, I cooked, I cleaned, I did laundry, I gave massages, I did, I did all that. Now, if we had gone too long with me doing that stuff and I didn't have a ring, I would have went about my merry way because what you're not gonna do is take advantage of me. I feel like that's a mistake a lot of you women make. It's not that you do the wifely duties before the ring, that's not the mistake you're making. Y'all do it too long. Y'all be five, six, seven years in, still ain't got no proposal. You still just a girlfriend and you acting like a wife. That's where we got to draw the fucking line. You got to let your intentions and your expectations be known from the very beginning. And y'all got to learn how to walk away whenever your expectations are not being met. Now that don't mean to walk away and be like, well, I'm never going to cook and clean and do all this before a ring ever again. No, don't do that. Just take your qualities where they're more appreciated. But you can't withhold that stuff in a relationship and expect somebody to want to marry you. It's just unrealistic. I'll hate when people use this analogy, but you don't go out and buy a car without test driving it. When we go out and buy clothes, we try them on to make sure they fit right. And I already know what y'all are saying and thinking, like a car and clothes, those are materialistic things. That's not the same as a relationship. You're right. Buying a car, buying clothes, buying materialistic things are a lot less significant than marriage. Marriage is a lifelong commitment, but still, yeah, we put more effort into purchasing those materialistic things than y'all do in choosing a partner sometimes. And for whatever reason, y'all expect everybody around you to be just as careless with that type of decision. That's why y'all expect to be wise without showing that you qualify for that position. A lot of women are claiming they're not willing to do wife duties like cooking and cleaning before they have the ring. And I'm saying, how can he determine if you're worthy of the ring if you can't show him a couple survival skills? Those aren't wife things, those are just life things. I think a man deserves to know if you are clean. I think he deserves to know if you can feed him, okay? just. Like like you deserved to know if he can provide and protect, right? Why things would be making the man your beneficiary on your life insurance policy, you know what I'm saying? Adding him to your will, you know what I'm saying? 401k, liquid assets, joint ownership on vehicles and homes. That's wife duties, but come on, these men are not asking for none of that. But what I find really interesting about this is that on one hand, you'll hear women say things like this and give advice like this, which is so stupid. But then on the other hand, I'm always seeing videos like what you're about to see here. Now look at this comment, y'all. It say, then be having a nerve to ask for a photo of nails that they ain't even pay for, like, and it got 290 likes on it. But the shit that's blowing me, right, the shit that really, like, gets me, like, kind of confused is the fact that you see all these trends and all these videos of women with like rings or no rings on and they man be like can you cook can you clean and they be like oh well i ain't got a ring i ain't got this i ain't got that and it's like damn we gotta take care of y'all to get y'all but we gotta marry y'all to get something in return bro y'all selfish as hell this is why y'all ph balance be off this is this is why this is why shit be fucked up bro because y'all mindset be dumb as hell this why do I got to pay for your nails to get a picture of your nails, sweetheart? That doesn't make sense. So did I have to pay for that ass for you to post them weak ass birthday pictures? No. <laughs> but this is exactly what I'm talking about, bro. How can you sit over here and come on these platforms, come on social media and constantly talking about all these things that men need to do while dating, which is husband treatment. Men, this is why I tell you guys, man men are still held to a traditional standard and women are not you got women out here i ain't cooking and cleaning oh but he better pay these bills oh but he better pay for this date he better pay for this he better pay for that it's like why would a man be incentivized to um go into a dating market that's set up that way I don't know, but y'all let me know what y'all think. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and it helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the travel vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.